Okay, so in this video I have an LC2 motherboard, which I'm going to use hot air to remove those very small capacitors. Uh, but my concern is about all the small parts that could be blown off with the hot air. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to use staples. Uh, I've seen people use like uh, blades from utility knives, but I think staples might work pretty good because you can have them in different sizes. Um, I have like mini staples and regular staples. But you can just place them on the board to protect different things. For instance, if I wanted to protect this component, I could just put it there. So I think that's going to work pretty well. Um, let's see, first I'm going to put one here like that. That should protect the housing. Plastic. And I'm going to put another one like that. I'm going to crack it in half here. So I think that would help. Right. Maybe. Yeah, I think that will do it. That will protect the plastic part. Okay, well, let's start with that guy and see what happens. There it goes. Okay, let's do the other one. Nothing else was damaged, so that's pretty good. Okay. Okay, we're getting kind of close to the plastic bit, so. I think I'm going to put some foil around the plastic bits, just this additional protection. There you go. That's gone. Okay, so in the last part, I removed like a handful of capacitors from this board. The next step is to clean up the pads. Just using some Q-tip and isopropyl alcohol just to clean that stuff up. I got some desoldering braid right here, and I got a hot iron, and I got some flux. I'm just gonna drip some flux on this capacitor pad, like so. Both pads, and then I'm just gonna use a hot iron just to kind of rub it down a little bit. Oops, let me make sure the temperature is set correctly here. There you go, looks pretty clean now. Okay, so now is the last part. I have all the pads cleaned up and I have my parts kit and it's time to solder them in.
So I'm using this uh, Kester 951 and it leaves this horrible white residue on the board. So I'm gonna definitely have to wash this quite a bit to get all this white gunk out. And I'll just pour alcohol on it. Get it all cleaned up. 